James is a partner at a local firm. One day while James is working, another partner named Brad enters his office and starts telling him about his night out with some of the people from the office. Brad tells James that Claire, a junior associate, came out and that things got pretty wild between the two. He goes on to say that the next time he is going to seal the deal with Claire. James, a bit confused of why Brad has such an interest in another co-worker, moves the conversation to preparation for the pitch all three of them have with their big client that day. Later that day, the pitch goes terribly. There's obvious tension between Brad and Claire, and Claire seems very down. She usually is engaged, but today she doesn't deliver when called upon for the numbers needed to close the deal. The client is visibly angry, and the firm ends up losing the client. Back at the office, Claire vents to one of her fellow co-workers about the last 24 hours events. She tells her how terrible the meeting went, and about last night's incident with Brad. She says she wasn't able to sleep all last night because of it, and that she messed up in the pitch to their biggest client. She says she really doesn't want to lose this job, and that she doesn't know what to do about Brad. As Claire was saying all of this, James was walking by. He listened in, and then walked away before anyone saw him. Utterly shocked at what he has heard, James walks back to his office. He thinks for a minute about what to do, and at a loss, he decides he should talk to his mentor. Although it looks like his mentor is busy, James gathers the courage to ask him for his time. James's mentor begins to tell James a story of when he was early in his own career. He tells about a time when he was working for a firm and a colleague of his was clocking bogus hours. The colleague tried to get him to do the same and asked him to go on vacation while saying he was working during that time. James Mentor says he almost did it because his colleague was one of his good friends, but he stayed behind because he didn't think it was right. Before he could decide whether to say anything to his manager, he found out from someone else that his friend was fired. The new member that replaced the colleague was loyal, and since he clocked his hours honestly, their team culture was stronger and the company was more efficient. After talking with his mentor, James knew what he had to do. He called Claire into his office. Claire was a bit nervous that she was in trouble after the pinch went poorly. James surprised Claire and said he knew something happened with Brad. After the two talked about what happened, James told Claire he was supporting Brad's removal from the firm. He told Claire that they can't have that type of contact on the team, and that it is his duty to protect his team members and the overall good of their team and the organization as a whole. Brad was replaced by a responsible, ethical partner. The team ended up thriving because of the decision, and they even got back their biggest client. James chose to speak up when ethical behavior was going on at his firm, and it influenced not just Claire, but the whole company as a whole.